Joining me now is Dryden Pence, Chief Investment Officer of Pence Capital. Uh, Dryden, thanks so much for joining. Thank you for having me here. It's good to see you. Uh, stock market down today, kind of moving in a range, but there are risk factors out there. What's your take on the path forward for stocks? I think it's very murky at this point because you have this big debate. Is it a hike? Is it a pause? Is it a pivot? And so no one told the American consumer, don't fight the Fed. And the consumer still seems to be in pretty good shape, still spending on retail. And so those who are expecting this uh, recession to come and that we get a bunch of f cuts uh, before the end of the year are probably going to be very disappointed. And I think that that's, that's what people are trying to sort out right now. And that's what we've heard from the Fed. I mean, Rafael Bostic uh, said it yesterday, but the Fed Chair Jerome Powell has been saying since mid-March in the wake of those bank failures uh, that rate cuts are not the base case. And, and even a pause could indicate, right, Dryden, that rates could still rise. It just means a pause for now. Exactly. You could, you, you've find the situation where they pause waiting for about 125 basis points of rate cuts to catch up because there's this lag effect. But that doesn't mean the next move's a pivot. Uh, that, may, that may mean that we, we pause for a while and then we may have to raise again if inflation doesn't tamp down or the pivot comes much later. We change the narrative from how high to how long. Mm -hmm. And the point of the matter is, is the American consumer is still pretty good. They're still spending. Uh, and we haven't seen this contraction that the Fed is wanting. So let's talk about that. The American consumer is still pretty good. They're definitely still spending. I think the data shows us that, even though Home Depot would indicate, you know, maybe that spending is going to cool, at least in certain sectors. But do they have money to spend? Well, you, everybody who wants a job has a job. And you have people who they're, you know, everybody who's working, they're making money. And those who are retired, they got an increase in their social security checks that are greater than the inflation. So you really have, you've got also about 1.7 trillion of excess savings out there. So the consumer has money. Uh, those who want jobs have it. Uh, and they, t they, people spend, you know, there's more people working than ever before. They're making more money than ever before. And they're spending more money than ever before. So uh, let's talk about what investors should do in this environment, Dryden. What would you recommend? Two things. On fixed income, stay short because we think the pause would be elongated uh, and maybe even go into 2024 before you get a pivot. Okay. Uh, so those who are out, out long are probably going to be disappointed. Uh, on the uh, equity side, kind of invest in the no matter what. During this period of time of uncertainty, there's a few things that you can be sure that we're going to spend money on. We're going to spend money on infrastructure because that's already right. done. We're going to spend money uh, on defense because that's already done. You're probably on the retail side. You want to look at the lower ends, so that's kind of your Walmarts and, and, and those things because yeah. you're going to see pretty resilient consumerism in those areas. And also payments. Payments are very important. Uh, you know, when you look at, at inflation causing prices to rise, payment companies are just getting better margins. Interesting. Uh, well, let's talk about retail. I know you mentioned Walmart there. Retailers set to report this week, Walmart, Target, TJX companies. Of course, after that disappointing report uh, from Home Depot, Today, Home Depot might not be one that would fit into your category always as a sure bet, but what about a Target and a TJX? Well, I think Target and TJX, uh, Target's got a problem in that they're middle market, uh, and they're, that's the, 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 the weakest part. The people that the lower end of the market, the Walmarts and the Dollar Savers and the TJX, those people saw an increase in real wages. Uh, you also have people in the middle part of the income stream having to you know, tighten their belts a little bit, so they're moving down market. Uh, and then you have companies like LVMH at the very at, at, the, at the upper side doing very well. So you barbell the consumer. Uh, folks in the middle are going to be challenged. Okay. Um, well, it's going to be a busy week um, of results, that's for sure. Dryden Pence, Chief Investment Officer of Pence Capital. Dryden, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate being here.